Hello friends, uh, everyone have been receiving queries like uh, whether they can, um, I mean, able to complete the preparation within this uh, 90 days or the 3 months because we have uh, from uh, 1st October to December 30th, we have uh, approximately uh, exactly 3 months for the IES general studies prelims, okay. So, um, so, um, Anuja came up with a study plan for IES general studies. I really appreciate her. And uh, we are uh, trying to, you know, present the uh, st study plan for this uh, 90 days. Okay. So, this is a 90 day study plan. And uh, this is from the October, 1st October to 30th December. Okay. And uh, this is again divided into study plan and as well as the revision plan. So, in the study plan, we included 70 days and uh, for the 70 days, we as I explained in the in uh, my other video, we have considered the whole syllabus and again different topics and uh, within these different topics with different uh, concepts. So, finally, everything boiled down to the daily plan. So, we have a uh, given a detailed daily plan that is there in our website. Okay. And uh, that is for the 70 days, for the first 70 days we will cover the study plan including the news here. So we will see well, how we need to cover the news and the uh, remaining 20 days and the 70 days plan is from uh, 1st October to 10th December. This is October to 10th December. And then after that, we will come up with the 20 days revision plan. In the revision plan, this is uh, from 11th December to you know 30th December. So, in the revision plan, immediately after uh, every completion of every topic, we will be conducting one you know detailed quiz on that particular topic. Okay. And uh, after this, uh, how we dedicated, you know, uh, number of hours for the each topic. So, for example, if I take a, any, uh, you know, candidate who is uh, preparing for the, seriously preparing for the IES job prelims, he, on an average, he will be spending 8 hours in a day. And um, since we have uh, two papers in the prelims, one is a technical and another one is the general one. And um, marks for, marks and uh, as well as, uh, the time, uh, I mean, uh, syllabus for the technical paper is generally much more higher than that of the GS paper. So, that's why here we allocated 5 hours for the technical paper and the 3 hours for the GS paper out of 8 hours that we considered on an average for a student. So, again, this uh, 3 hours will vary. For example, if every day, you know, any candidate is uh, you know, uh, covering quiz and as well as the news, then the this this can vary this is um, this can um, this can vary from 3 to 330 hours okay so if you are covering a uh, news and as well as the current affairs daily and uh, if you are not covering current affairs daily in that case you need to take up current affairs at least for every 15 days why because if you accumulate for the last minute then it's very difficult to cover at the last minute okay so for uh, try to try to revise the current affairs for every 15 day that we are providing in our website and which material to study this is a one more important query so some people already might have studied some other material from some other institution or some other sources so whatever you studied you carry on with that material now or if you have already studied our website material you carry on with that and Apart from this, when we made the plan in our website, we have mentioned the sources for different study materials. So, you are free to, you know, select those sources also. And then, consolidated current affairs. So, presently, we are providing daily current affairs and monthly current affairs. So, these monthly current affairs are already consolidated of the daily current affairs. And again, in the December, we are releasing one more final consolidated current affairs for the all the topics, whichever is uh, related to those. Okay, in those consolidated current affairs, we will weed out all unwanted and unnecessary, 
issues so that it will reduce the burden on the candidate and also we try to cover june and july important concept in their in that december consolidated topics okay and uh, how we covered these 10 topics so uh, we have considered in this manner okay we in the initial stage if i take energy and environment we try to cover all the basic concepts here and uh, the you know current affairs are uh, uh, the daily news are covered uh, current happenings are covered in the current affairs under current affairs and again how to co cover the current affairs either you can cover daily or you can you know revise for every 15 days that is uh, optional to you and then even in the ICT apart from the current happenings we need to cover the basic topics also because the questions are asking from basic and as well as the current happenings and then after that material science here okay and material science and then ethics and uh, quality control even though we didn't cover you know this particular subject in my in my in our website we have given very elaborated and very precious material sources for this one and then next one is the design drawing and safety this design part is you know uh, very general in nature you know it's uh, related to different streams but in the drawing we are covering in our website we try to cover remaining portion and uh, safety we have given uh, you know different uh, valuable sources and then we have already covered project management and uh, we are not covering this engineering mathematics and engineering aptitude this year in our website so you can follow whichever material you are already following or any other standard books okay and uh, why i kept uh, this engineering mathematics and uh, engineering aptitude at the end why because you know if you if i put this at the starting so if you are very strong at the mathematics then you can complete within one week but uh, if you are a very uh, not that much comfortable in the mathematics then you keep on waste your time on the mathematics and the engineering aptitude but uh, if you consider the mocks distribution it's almost all 5 to 15 percent it's a range between 5 to 15 percent so instead of studying mathematics for two weeks it's better to study two topics in two weeks so that's why we have kept this engineering mathematics and engineering aptitude at the end so if you can cover these two then it's okay and uh, there was one more query you know recently i got from one of our students saying that uh, if if you are uh, weak in the both engineering mathematics and engineering aptitude so which one in a given and if you are remaining with uh, some period some time then uh, which one to take up in either engineering mathematics or engineering aptitude so my suggestion is if you both are you know very new very you know not that much comfortable then it's better to take engineering aptitude than the engineering mathematics because engineering mathematics you know learning will take uh, you know much more time than the engineering aptitude because in engineering aptitude we have a uh, logical reasoning and uh, english uh, related uh, aptitude also those are very much easier as compared to the engineering mathematics so this this is applicable only for those type of people okay and then we have a uh, current affairs okay and uh, for the detailed plan daily plan we have a uh, we have uploaded uh, you know uh, uh, detailed plan in our website and uh, please do follow that one thank you